weighing in at nine grams and the size of a button. This is the brand new Hollyland Lark M2 and it's impressive. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at the brand new Hollyland Lark M2 that has just released. And we're gonna be putting it up against its big brother, the Lark Max. That's not exactly a fair comparison, but I just wanna show you how good this actually is. Firstly, what's in the Lark M2 package? Now the Lark M2 basically replaces the Lark M1 and C1. The Lark M1 was a small wireless microphone designed for cameras and the Lark C1 was the exact same microphone essentially designed for mobile phone users and people that are vlogging or creating content on the go. Now with the addition of the Lark M2, it offers four different packages, essentially replacing that entire M1 and C1 ecosystem. Package number one gives you the camera version, which is basically your receiver and two transmitters. You get a USB-C mobile version, you then get a lightning connector mobile version, and then you get the package that I have, which consists of absolutely everything. Now in the box, you get the camera version of the charging case. The mobile version does come with a slightly different charging case. It comes with two transmitters and the camera receiver, now there are pins in the bottom of the case to charge it and the case does hold a charge, essentially giving you a total runtime of 40 hours. Now the little transmitters have their own magnets on the back and these little magnets actually can fit in the case with it already attached. So you don't have to worry about putting your magnets separately from the charging case. You then get a lightning connector, which is for an iPhone and a USB-C connector for an Android or any new iPhone. And yes, I have tested this with the iPhone 15, which is USB, and the USB-C one works perfectly. You also get two magnetic clips which can attach to the Lark M2, giving you a clip functionality if you do need that and the magnet is not enough for you. It comes with a 3.5 to 3.5 audio cable, which is to connect the receiver to the camera. A USB-C cable for charging, and finally, it comes with two windscreens to block out some unwanted wind noise if you are recording in a windy environment. Now the entire little transmitter fits into the little wind thing, so you're gonna get zero wind noise. There's also a super cool drawstring bag that can hold everything, and it even comes with two Hollyland necklaces if you wanna attach it to this, it is magnetic, so that you don't have to clip it onto your shirt. Now this is pretty cool, and for some you might think this is a bit gimmicky, but let me explain. In the pack, you get a set of stickers. Now these stickers perfectly cover the little transmitter mic. Now sure, the little faces you might find gimmicky, perhaps you just wanna spruce it up or you're a younger person that wants to vlog. But what Hollyland has done, and I applaud them for this, is offering black and white stickers. I don't know about you, but I cannot stand any type of video that has been broadcasted and the person is sitting with a massive road logo on their chest and it's kind of this unnecessary branding. The fact that Hollyland is willing to offer up their logo in terms of advertisement for black and white stickers and make it a little bit less visible is fantastic. Thank you, Hollyland. The range test. Now before we get into the audio quality test, we did test the normal camera receiver as well as the mobile version receiver. So if you are worried that you're gonna get limitations on it, I'm gonna show you right now. Now we have attached this to our son Zach on his chest. Now one thing that I want you to keep in mind is when you are using something like this, unlike the Lark Max, which has a 3.5 millimeter jack, with the Lark Max, you're probably going to be using a lapel mic. Once you've attached a lapel mic to a client, you will most likely take that Lark Max and wire it down into their back pocket, which makes it less visible from the front. With the Lark M2, this is designed to be worn or shown on the front, meaning your line of sight straight to the camera is always going to be clear. But for this test, we attached it to Zach's chest. We let him ride away from us a good 200 to 300 meters, pretty much giving you worst case scenario of using the Lark M2. Now we did ask him to give us some commentary on the way. So this is the camera receiver, with the Lark M2 attached to his chest. It was a windy day, so he's got the dead cat over it. Check this out. Hello, Daddy. I'm riding on my bike. And look at Cody, and I have 
new shoes and I also have a fox helmet and I'm standing up on my bike and it's so fun to walk on bikes. Now, as it gets further away, you can see that the audio quality starts dropping and you no longer hear him. But as soon as he turns around, that audio comes back, giving you a solid line of sight of a good 300 meters. And Hollyland does claim 1,000 feet, which is 300 meters. Daddy, can you hear me? Okay. Must I come back yet? Okay. We then did the exact same test with the mobile receiver and Check this out. And let me just look. It's okay. Okay, go. Okay. Hello, Daddy. We're doing the stuff for the iPhone. And I'm just, in, um, I'm just cool riding my bike. And yep, that's probably all. Hello, Daddy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, Daddy. And I'm waiting on my bike. <laughs> As expected, exact same results. It literally goes as far. I personally thought there would be a limitation on it because it's less professional filming with a phone and maybe there wasn't as much technology put into it, but it goes just as far. Hollyland didn't skimp on this at all. Audio quality. Now range features size and affordability means nothing when the audio is terrible. And to put this into some form of perspective, because audio is very tough to listen to, I'm gonna give you five different audio tests. Number one, road mic on a camera. Number two, the Hollyland Lark Max. Number three, the Hollyland Lark Max with a lapel mic. Number four, the Lark M2. And number five, the Lark M2 with noise reduction. Yes, this tiny little thing has noise reduction built in. Check this out. This is the sound of the Rode Video Mic Go sitting on my camera. What do you think? This is the sound of the Hollyland Lark Max. What do you think? This is the sound of the Hollyland Lark Max with the lapel mic. What do you think? This is the sound of the Hollyland Lark M2 on its normal setting. What do you think? This is the sound of the Hollyland Lark M2 with noise reduction. What do you think? Extra points. Now there's a few cool extra points or features when it comes to the Lark M2. And these I think are pretty cool. A simple tap on the transmitter turns the audio from normal audio to noise cancellation. Currently have a plane flying over. And the light does go from blue being normal audio to green being noise cancellation. And we're back. The receiver has three gain settings. One being low, two being middle, medium, and three being high. Now the lights are blue. However, if you do give a tap on the side of the button on the receiver, the lights will turn to green. This indicates blue being stereo and green being mono audio. So you can switch it up if you need to. Also, if you wanna use the camera receiver and you only wanna buy the camera version with a USB-C to USB-C cable, you can plug it directly into your phone and it will work. Also, if you have a USB-C to lightning, you could do that and it would also work in an older iPhone. Just remember that as soon as you plug it into a phone, the receiver will detect it and the lights will turn green indicating mono audio, and you cannot then get stereo audio on the camera receiver into your phone. Also, if you're using the Lark M2 on your phone and you double tap the transmitter button, it will automatically start or stop recording on your mobile device. Pretty cool. Then you also get a Lark sound app 
made by Hollyland for your phone. Now, this does give pretty cool little extra features and tweaks, whether you want stronger noise cancellation or your input gain needs to be set to low, medium or high. I will drop a link in the description below where you can pick up the Hollyland Lark M2. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Oh yes, and obviously this entire video was recorded on the Lark M2. That's it for me, wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.